Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here. Watch with another TTM episode. Um, so it's been a while, at least two or three days, I think, since my last video. Um, did not get any mail on Wednesday or Thursday, I don't think. And uh, got a ton in today. I almost broke my record, uh, which I think is like 31 or 32 TTMs in a day. I have, I believe, 26 here. So, uh, I decided because of the sheer amount of them, I will not do a, a live opening, but I promise you, if as long as I have at least one TTM tomorrow, I will do a live mail opening for you guys on Saturday. So, uh, you have my word on that one, I will uh, save it for Saturday. So, uh, I guess uh, this first one here, I did get an RTS from uh, Ken Green. Um, but I do have a new address. He has a P.O. box there. So if you want to send, there's an address for you. So it definitely, that's a long ways off from Florida Idaho, in Idaho. So <laughs> so uh, at least I got another address to, to try there. I uh, don't know where to start. I mean, just look at this. So. Try not to show the whole kitchen table there. Uh, I guess we'll work our way right to left, maybe. Uh, I guess start off with some football here. So I resent to a former Jets center, Jim Sweeney, to the new address that I got on the RTS label, and it came back signed. This is an 89 scorecard that I made into a photo. And then I got Tom Flynn from the Packers. I believe he's also in the Super Bowl... Um, later on, I don't remember what team it was on. I think it was the Giants against the Broncos there. Just notice, I didn't even notice that uh, the top part got cut off, but oh well. Then this guy's uh, coaching on the Seattle Seahawks right now, Dwayne Board. Um, of course, the 49ers had a great defensive team in the 80s. You know, when you got Dwayne Board coming on one end and Charles Haley on the other, that's a uh, quite the defensive line right there and they had plenty of other guys you know Kevin uh, Kevin Fagan came a little bit later I think there's Guy McIntyre he might have an offensive line I don't remember but they had some good players on that team so that was pretty cool and got uh, hockey success uh, he charges five dollars Don Ari let's send him cash number 24 inscription And I have E. Roll Thompson from the Maple Leaves. And he also played for the Red Wings later on. And he also just wrote my note. Just good luck with my collection. I think that one was from Canada. I got one basketball return. He's coaching at the college level, uh, Damon Studemeyer. Picture with the Raptors. Then I got one golf return from Bob Wolcott, not to be confused with the Mariners pitcher Bob Wolcott. That was cool. Then I got uh, three World War II veterans. Got Lewis Breckenridge. He was a World War II uh, 12th Air Force, 57th Bomb Wing. 321st Bomb Group and 447th Bomb Squadron. So that's pretty cool. Lewis C. Breckenridge. Then I, uh, I got one guy, He, I guess he must have kept my card or maybe got lost or got damaged or something, who knows. Uh, I'm not sure of his first name, but I know it's Gilbertson. <laughs> I think it might be Bob. Oh no, E. Gil, I guess. Maybe it was Everett or something like that, I don't remember. But he did sign the letter and wrote me a little note, so. Still got an autograph there. And then I have one guy who wrote a full page letter on mine, sent back my envelope so I can reuse that. Got Ralph Lakey. Uh, he was a Pearl Harbor survivor on the USS Solus. And he signed the card and then wrote uh so how did you find out that i was a world a pearl harbor survivor which i actually i get that from star tiger if you guys are curious 
from a guy who collects other World War II veterans. He posts all their addresses that he gets. And he wrote a whole full page letter. So that'll be cool to read. And I guess we'll move on to baseball. Got Archie Moore. Staying with Roger Maris there, so I thought that was a cool photo. He also included one extra of his own, kind of in the style of like a 1959 Tops. Own custom of his. And he got two photos signed by former catcher Mark Parent, played for the Padres, Tigers, Cubs, and a few other teams. This one's with the Tigers, I thought that was a cool photo. Flare Ultra, and then there are the Cubs. All the same year. I think he was traded in those years. We got uh, announcer and former baseball player Rex Hudler. Thought this was a really funny photo, and I've always liked this card from the Stadium Club set. And then I got this one. Looks like he's about he's taking out Terry Stein back there. I wonder if he'd still sign that. And I sent to Puerto Rico on this one and. Just to forewarn you, if you guys do send to Puerto Rico, make sure you put two stamps on each envelope because it does cost a little bit extra since it's going overseas, even though it's still technically in the U.S. Got Pedro Garcia, former infielder. And here he is with the Tigers. So very cool. Then I got a world champion with the New York Yankees, Clay Bellinger. Only played for a few years. But, of course, his son is doing absolutely amazing, Cody. I did send him a 4x6 photo with him. It was, like, cut down uh, diagonal. had his picture and, then his, and Cody's. Um, looks like he kept that one. Probably thought it was cool, but that's all right. I send him, you know, when I send him extra photos, they can keep whatever they want. But uh, he did sign this 5x7, which looks nice. And then I got uh, the new Rockies relief pitcher acquisition, Pat Neshek. Who is the best signer in baseball? So I figured I'd send him one more time just to get him in a Rockies uniform because I'm super happy that he came here. He definitely helps the bullpen. So that was really cool to get him. And he does sign, even though the Rockies, most of the players do charge for the charity thing. And one more here got Bert Roberger with the Expos. And then later, a little bit later, with the White Sox from 85. Finally, we'll end off with our celebrities and other people note. Um, we got William Whitliff. He was a writer. Um, he was on, did help do the movie The Black Stallion and many other things. So I figured that'd be a cool photo. Got a Didi Khan from Greece. I did not expect this to get back here that fast because she usually takes over a year, but this worked. From a Fairly new address. And we got uh, Carolyn Grimes from It's a Wonderful Life. So I got two actresses now from that movie. I sent her three photos and told her that uh, I made a couple extra if she wanted to keep them. She could, and she did, so that's fine. So maybe you, if you guys send up some to her, maybe you'll get one of mine. I think this was probably the best photo, so it's pretty cool. Got country singer Ricky Van Shelton on a 5x7. Uh, this one I sent to a play which I believe just ended. David Hyde Pierce and a friend of mine on Facebook just got like a ton of his IP. Um, he'll sign a lot of autographs for him. So that's pretty cool. And then I got Carol Shelley. She, uh, I believe, is before, performing now as Madame Morble or something in Wicked, I think. The Wizard of Oz parody kind of thing. She also did uh, the cartoon version of uh, Robin Hood. She was a voice actress on there. Um, I believe she's right there. And she inscribed to me my best wishes. Then I got a music composer, uh, Patrick Williams. Signed a little bit above his face, or on his face, but that's alright. And then he also signed the custom um, 
I haven't sent these out in a while, so this is pretty cool to send out. The little music. And I can't quite think right off the top of my head what he did. <laughs> then I got actor Lindsay Ginter. Or Ginter, I'm not sure. On two photos. It's one in red, one in black. And then I got the last one here, actress Erin Gray, uh, from I believe it was Buck Rogers, and she also has been, I believe, in some Hallmark movies, which I believe is what this is from, on a 5x7, so uh, not a bad day, so thanks guys for watching, really appreciate it, and I uh, hope you enjoyed what I got, and uh, hopefully you got a nice mail day today too, talk to you later, bye.